Hi everyone, welcome to a video on the Optimization Data Collector Lab, where today we're going to be grabbing the organization metadata you have, so account names, account tags, OUs, and attaching this to the cost intelligence dashboard. So all the information you need to know is in the well-architected labs, in the 300 Optimization Data Collector, and uh, you can go there and check anything else that you need. So let's get started. So in my account, I have already deployed the basin setup for my optimization data collect stack and the other roles that need to be deployed. So we're just focusing on the module today. So if you want to add this module, all you need to do is click on your optimization data collector stack in CloudFormation and click update. We're keeping the same template and we're just gonna change the uh, organization data from no to yes, next, next. Scroll to the bottom tick the tick boxes and update stack. This will then update and create a new nested stack. So feel free to pause here while we let that deploy. Okay, now that our update is complete, we can see it's all green here and a new nested stack has been added, the organization data module. So if you click on that and then go to resources, we can go to our new Lambda function. So once we open this, we can go down and this has already been configured to grab the environment tag. So today I care about making sure my cost intelligence dashboard can be filtered by tags on my accounts and I'm focusing on the environment tag env. So once I've done, made sure that's correct, you can also add any tags by, it, by adding them with a comma. Um, we want to test it. So we go on to test, click on test. And then this will go off and get all of the organization data printed down there. Once that's done, that will be put into S3. And if we go into Galoo, we will see that this has started. So this is now collecting all the data to put into Athena. So feel free to pause while we let this finish running. Now I can see this is stopping and one table has been added. So let's go to Athena. So in Athena, now we can see our organization data. So in this table, if I click here and I do preview table, then I can see below all of that data from the organization information. And we wanna focus on here is my env tag and two of my accounts have that tag test. So we've now got that data. Something else I wanted to show is how you can use this data when it comes to your cost intelligence dashboard with already set filters. So if we go to our curve, which is this is mine, and there should be, if you have the cost intelligence dashboard set up, you should have your account map. So if we go on there and we do show edit query, this is what it currently is. Because I've deployed this in a links account rather than my payer account, my account name, my account email aren't available. So what we're gonna do is update this data from the data we just pulled in. So I've already got a set query here. Um, so I'm just gonna replace this. And so now I've got ID, which was from our other table. I'm gonna use part of the ARN, which had the payer ID, the name and the account and the email. So I run that. And now when I preview my account map, I have that information set up. Okay, let's go over to QuickSight. So for this scenario, I've already added my bucket to QuickSight. So if you go back to the initial deployment, there is an S3 bucket that all this data is stored into. You need to allow permissions into that bucket from QuickSight. So please make sure you do that by going into manage QuickSight, security and permissions and manage your resources. So I've already deployed my cost intelligence dashboard. So I already have all the data sets and the dashboard analysis created. So let's go into data sets and find my summary view. In here, we're going to edit data set and add data. Add a data source. I've already created a data source that has this in. So I click select optimization data and I'm going to look for my organization data set. Select, click on the join and we're going to look for linked account and ID. Apply, save and publish. Now that my refresh is complete, I can close this and go to analysis. I've already saved my cost intelligence dashboard as an analysis so I can edit it. So if we go into here, 
so we want to add that environment tag as a filter. So we're going to go into parameters, add parameter, env, dynamic view. We're going to look for a data set, summary view, search for env, env. Apply, create. And this is going to be a filter. So now we're going to create the filter. env. We're going to do all visuals that apply and change from filter list to custom filter, use parameter, select parameter, add env, and apply. So lastly, we need to add a control. So we're going to back onto parameter, env, add control, env. We're going to do a drop down list, link to data set, summary view, env, add. And now we can just focus on accounts that have tests. Okay, there you go. That's how you add your organization tags to your cost intelligence dashboard. Everything else will be on the Well Architects Labs. Feel free to look there or email us if you have any questions. Have a good day.